What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. So today is the morning of my first exam in my third year of medical school. I'm just doing some last minute revision going through a bunch of random little facts that I just have to memorize before I walk into the test. I've got everything ready, you know, my see-through pencil case with my pens, papers, erasers, etc. I've been studying for about two weeks now with the last week or so being pretty intensive. So I'm really excited to get this exam over and done with. Anyways, I've only got a couple of hours before I need to leave the house. So I'm gonna do a little bit more study make some food, relax, and I'll catch up with you guys later. All right, enough of that. So I think I'm done reading my notes before I go to this exam. I don't really like to study too much right before the test because it just sort of freaks me out and gives me a bit of anxiety. But what I do like to do this close to the exam is test my knowledge. So I'm gonna go through past paper questions, MCQs and things like that, just to make sure that I actually know everything that I've been studying this whole time. But first, quick break to make some tea. Time to pack my bag. Now, I'm not gonna take too many things with me, pretty much just my iPad in case I want to do some last minute revision, even though I know that I'm almost definitely not going to do any last minute revision, but I just have to take it anyway so that if I wanted to, the option was there. Does anybody else do that? So I'm gonna leave the house now and I'll catch up with you guys after the test. Hey guys, so I'm back home now. Sorry I didn't really film anything while I was out and about today. I'm all done with the exam and thankfully I think it went okay, it went well. So after the exam we went to one of the local pubs, had a drink and chilled and then of course I just can't help myself. I always want to discuss every single question I can possibly remember from the test. A lot of people don't want to hear anything about the exam when it's done and other people like myself want to talk about every single question and try and figure out if I got it right or wrong. So yeah, I definitely fall into the second category of those two. Anyways, so did that for a couple of hours, to chill with everyone from uni. So I think I'm just gonna take the rest of the night off, enjoy myself, chill, relax, and yeah, we'll pick up the vlog and continue tomorrow. Good night, and I'll see you in a sec. as much tidying that I'm gonna do in my room, feel like I've set up the scene as best as I can. So if you guys couldn't tell already, I've woken up this morning and I feel really inspired to record a video. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. That's gonna take a couple of hours, so I'm gonna get started and I will catch up with you in a bit. Chilling here with Dr. Bakhtar. You guys might know him as the founder of The Medic Life. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bak living The Medic Life. <laughs> He's treated me to a lovely evening of coffee. We've been chilling and chatting about all kinds of different things. Definitely go check him out, honestly. He's such a solid guy. He's really trying to help other students get into medical school and he's doing a really good thing. Give him a follow, support him, and show him some love. Today is Wednesday, which means I don't have anything scheduled like clinical placements at the hospital or tutorials, lectures, workshops at university. This vlog is starting a little bit late in the day. It's currently almost 2 p.m. I spent the morning filming two YouTube videos, which you guys will see up on the channel soon. So subscribe if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to like the video and leave me a comment down below. So I've decided to stay home today and get ahead on a couple of things that I wanna do. Anyways, I'm about to start an intense studying session taking notes on my iPad and I'll explain everything that we're gonna do today. But first, let me grab some coffee and a snack. All right guys, so I'm back. I've got my snack and my coffee at the ready. Now to talk about what we actually have to do today. Let me show you guys. All right, so these are the set of lectures that we had on Monday, and then these are the lectures that we're going to have tomorrow on Thursday. 
Now, since I don't actually attend the lectures in person, I don't need to wait till tomorrow to actually go to the lecture in order to cover that material. I can just start doing it right now. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So on Monday, I already covered lectures one to 12. And now I'm going to cover lectures 12 to 18. Now, the way that I'm going to cover these lectures is using our online lecture capture program. So all the lectures that happen at King's College London in medical school get recorded and uploaded online. And what we have here on the left is the lecture slide. And then on the right is a video feed of the actual classroom so that you can see the professor if he's making any hand gestures or if he's pointing to anything, maybe he's explaining something using a prop, we still get to see all of that when we watch the lecture from home. So right now in third year of medical school, I'm covering the vascular block and some of the upcoming lectures that I'm going to cover now are anatomy of the heart and its valves. Then we have diuretics, beta blockers, ACE inhibitors, etc. So blood pressure medication or hypertension medication, then resynchronization and cardioversion and end of life care. So yeah, guys, I'm just going to get started going through these lectures one by one, taking notes on my iPad, and I'll put up a screen recording of my iPad somewhere over here so you guys can follow along and I will catch up with you in just a second. Peace. here, I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Paperlike. Paperlike is of course the screen protector that I use on my iPad. It helps protect my iPad from scratches and also from my greasy fingerprints after I've been writing on it for a whole day. For example, just the other day, I scratched my iPad really badly and thank God I had a screen protector on it. I'm not sure if you guys can pick that up in the video. And if I didn't have the screen protector there, well then that would be a scratch in my 1000 pound screen. As the name implies, it makes writing or drawing on an iPad feel like paper, which is something that I really enjoy. I prefer writing on the iPad with that little bit more traction than you would get if you were just writing directly on the glass. If you wanna learn more about the paper like screen protector, I'll leave links in the description down below and in a pinned comment as well. Anyways, let's jump right back into the video. All right guys, so that's it. I'm all caught up now on the lectures for the vascular block, which is really great because now I've covered 50% of the material that's gonna come up on our big exam that we have in January. So I'm gonna take a quick break from studying. Let's go out for a chat on the balcony. Been a while since we've had a chat out here on the balcony i really missed it i just wanted to take a moment to reflect sort of on the videos that i've been making over the last month or two ever since i started third year of medical school you guys have been showing me some incredible support on pretty much every video i've uploaded some of the videos have done extremely extremely well better than i could have ever imagined and yeah i just wanted to say thank you i mean i could have never imagined that people would actually be interested in watching me and my videos and not only are you guys watching them you guys are leaving me wonderful comments you guys are sending me really really nice messages over on Instagram and yeah it's just something that I want you to know that I really appreciate and I'm really really enjoying this. I'm not gonna lie it's getting pretty cold out here. I think winter is finally coming to London. The sun is poking its head out every now and again but not often enough and it's definitely not keeping us warm. Gonna have to start whipping out the big fat winter jacket soon. Anyways let's head back inside and I'll update you on the plans for the rest of the evening. All right guys, so I did a bunch of other work related things and it's taken us to about 5 p.m. And as you can see from the door outside, it is absolutely pitch black. But for today, now I've finished all of the lectures in the trauma section. So if I'm gonna start doing more lectures, it's gonna be starting a whole new topic, a whole new block. And I don't really feel like doing that right now for a couple of hours, because I've already made plans for the rest of the evening. It is currently 7.15 in the morning. It is way too early right now. I'm up because we have early morning teaching at the hospital before the day of clinical placement starts. Let me show you guys what I'm up to today. So this is my timetable over here. It's a.m. Monday in week one. So I'm gonna be sitting in with the cardiology nurse for the entire morning. And then in the afternoon, I'm gonna be in the cardiology outpatient. So I'm sure I'm gonna see a lot of interesting things today, but the hospital is about an hour away from here. So I should probably get going. I've got a bit of a long day ahead of me. So after clinical placement, I'm gonna need my laptop and also my iPad. So since our last exam in medical school, we've had a nice two week break from clinical placement where we've only had lectures. So in these lectures, we're covering all the material that we're hopefully going to be seeing over the next couple of weeks on our different clinical blocks. I'm really excited to get back to clinical placement. It was a good break to not have such a hectic schedule for a little bit, but I've missed talking to patients. I've missed being on the wards and seeing what really goes on in a hospital. So I'm excited that I'm going back.
I obviously won't be able to film anything when I'm at the hospital, so I'll catch up with you guys at lunchtime. Hey guys, so just finished morning teaching and then took a little bit of a break for lunch. Just found a little quiet area outside of the hospital to sit down and chat for five minutes. So for this morning's clinical activity, I was following an ACS nurse, which stands for Acute Coronary Syndrome Nurse. And basically what we were doing was following around the consultant on the ward round, providing any extra information to the patients after the main ward round was done, double checking that the patients understood all of the information that was given to them and that they knew what they were gonna do moving forward. And today's teaching was excellent because the consultant that we were with was just such a good teacher. He really took the time to explain everything that was going on very slowly, very simply, and sort of help us as medical students work through how he was reaching different diagnoses, other differentials that we should think about. And honestly, he was just fantastic. And I think that's what makes a very good learning experience for medical students on the wards. So yeah, this clinical placement was a success. I'm going to go to the cardiology outpatients clinic, and I will catch up with you guys when that is done. to make it onto a fairly empty tube. Finished my afternoon teaching. I'm gonna head to campus now and do a couple hours of work before we have a revision session later on in the evening. And we'll catch up with you guys on the journey and once we get to campus. All right, finally made it back to campus. I'm gonna head to the library for a couple of hours to get some work done, but first I definitely need some coffee. But before that, I'm gonna get a quick meal deal from Tesco. Alright guys, so I am finally home. It is almost 8 p.m. It's been a very long day. A lot has happened. Funny story, at some point the consultant in the next room knocks on the door while there's a consultation going on and he looks at me and he's just like, come quick, come quick. So I'm like, okay, fine. <laughs> so I get up and I go straight to the other room and he's like, have a listen to this patient's chest. But I realize I don't have a stethoscope around my neck because I left it in my bag there. So I asked the consultant if I could borrow his stethoscope. And he just looks at me in front of the patients and he's like, you didn't bring a stethoscope with you? I was like, I'm so sorry, it's just in my bag in the other room. Yeah, I usually have my stethoscope around my neck, but I was in a different room listening to different patients with a different consultant. I didn't expect I'd have to bring it with me when you called me out. Anyways, so that's pretty funny. I kind of laughed it off, borrowed his stethoscope and listened to the patient's chest. She had a systolic murmur. Anyways, while I have you here, you guys may have noticed this cheeky little Amazon package in the background. We're gonna open it on camera right now. This is a electricity box, like a cables box. If I'm gonna be doing a room tour soon, then I'm definitely gonna need to clean up my cable game. And then secondly, and very excitingly, is this Manfrotto base plate. So what this allows you to do is take your camera on and off of different filming devices very quickly. Like I said, it's 8 p.m. I'm not gonna be doing much more that's interesting. Probably gonna cook some dinner and then do some administrative stuff that I need to do. Answer some emails, do some research for upcoming projects and things like that. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this sort of mashup of different days. I know it hasn't been as continuous as my usual vlogs, but I think you guys will still enjoy the content it's still interesting and shows different parts of medical school. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog. If you did, please do leave a like on it. Leave me a comment down below telling me what you think and also subscribe to my channel to see more content from me in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.